said, darling, you are all I want for sure Darling, you give me everything and more I said, darling, ooh, 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 yeah, girl, you know I miss you Friend, I'm outside. I'm by La Prada. Okay, I'm coming. Shop you. I've been waiting. on all my social media platforms feel free to follow me because I really do drop some premium content and that's on period to all my returning subscribers my day ones my VIP gay, gay, gay. thank you so much for coming back for yet another video and if you're new here and you're seeing my face for the first time and you're thinking to yourself who is this gorgeous gorgeous Han <laughs> my name is Gugu I hope you stay I hope you fall in love and I definitely definitely hope you hit that subscribe button and become part of my family welcome to a new vlog guys um i opened this vlog yesterday and i feel like i am too bright i opened this vlog yesterday when i was picking up Komoto at her apartment she is here and i'm sure by now you know why she's here i couldn't say on the last vlog um she is here something flying here she is here because Manoa is having a baby. Manoa is having a baby and we are throwing her a little bit of nothing. It's not a baby shower. It's not a baby shower, but it's like a uh, something intimate, something small. It's me, Komodo, uh, Mbali, Sesetu, and Obabalwa. So it's like six ladies. We're going to go out. We're going out for massages. And 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 uh, I am taking you guys with me. I am running late. I just want to show you what I'm wearing. I bought the shoes. Okay, this dress I bought it at some boutique. Guys, it is so nice. It has it's like a backless dress, and I'm not even wearing like a bra with it. And then I'm wearing it with the shoes. Um, I bought these at Shein. Like they have like this beautiful dark color love love them i'm gonna link them in the description box in case you want to purchase them from she -in. and i am carrying my mamont baby i'm carrying my um 
Gucci Gucci bag, Gucci Gucci bag. Uh, love, love this stuff bag. I feel like it goes so well with the dress, with the black prints on the dress. This is what I'm putting on today. Um, it's Narciso Reg. <laughs> Narciso something. Um, shades. I like this, but I was wearing this yesterday when I was at Komoto, but I really, really like them. Also, I think I should go for black shades. Uh, these are Michael Kors shades. And then I also have these uh, Dolce. And my shade collection is coming along so well. I also have this Dolce and Cabana pair that I never wear. I just feel like they don't suit me after I bought them. I think I'm going to go with the black shades since I'm having like a black bag and a black shoes. And yeah, I'm going to wear these. They look a bit dirty. I'll wipe them in the car. Uh, got my lotion. I'm gonna put this on. This is my Victoria's Secret lotion. Bought it in Bali a year ago when I was on my honeymoon, and I only use it like if I'm like if it's a special occasion. And I feel like today meeting the girlies is a special occasion. I just don't wear it on any any day. And then yeah, I'm just gonna pack my. Uh, lip gloss. I'm wearing lip gloss. We're not wearing makeup because we're going to. This is a Maybelline lip gloss. I currently um, I have it on. It's a Maybelline um, lip gloss. I have like four of these in different shades. Love them so 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 much. Yeah, guys, I'm ready to go. Oh, I think I have to start by pouring petrol. I know. I don't know why. Yesterday, me and Khumuso finished. I got home at half past eleven, almost midnight. And in my house, we have a rule which you don't leave the house and come back after 12. So you can come home like at 5 to 12, but my 12 o'clock on the dot, you have to be in the house. Like you can go out as late as you want, but let midnight hit you in bed. <laughs> or oh, by the door, no, okay, okay, guys, let me go. I'm going to pick up Homoso again. Uh, because obviously, she hasn't even car this side. And she's also checking out, so I have to drop her at the airport. Oh, 2211. Bye. Oh, before I forget, guys, please make sure that you like this video. If you're enjoying it, please subscribe so that we, we're on the road to 150K. And leave me a comment. Say anything. Say I love your shades. Say I love your dress. Say I, say I love your hair. Say I love you. Say something. <laughs> okay, my love, let me go. <laughs> Welcome back, Gugu. Hello. I'm Pirin John. I'm going to eat 295. Ah, is right, sis? Of course. I'm you too, bye bye. Bye. You too. Bye. <laughs> and 
much. Yeah. We go straight through next. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Guys, we are here. Oh my gosh. This place is stunning. Uh, Babala is just parking her car. Just, oh my god, I want to show you guys the view. Oh my god. What's wrong with my lens? What? <laughs> Say hi. What is going on? What is happening? I'm Johnny, baby. I can't see you. Oh my god. so pretty.
gonna wait for you for you, don't worry. Went well because oh. I can't imagine if you're not there, son. She's living. And... Bye, I love you so much. Love you too. Bye, enjoy your flight. I'm actually so sad. Me too, I'm so sad. <laughs> to share my hazard. I'll see you guys in, in, in April. Sharp. But I'm gonna just wait here. I'm gonna go and get a lang in Linda. Let me take my bag. If I leave anything, my bag. Why is it never full? It's here. Oh. As long as my boobs are not showing. Flash your ring if they show. Oh, sad. This is a deal, eh? It's not like that. Oh, uh, uh. Let me do this. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh, oh. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Yes, yes. Thank you. She in. Guys, I want to do an unboxing. I wonder if you guys can hear me all the way. I'm working with she in. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm looking for a knife. I need like a videographer to follow me everywhere that I go. <sighs> Hi guys. Hi my loves. So, where do I start? Where do I start? Um, where do I start? Okay, as you saw, ne, I received a package. Ne. I received a package ne, that was from Buffalo, yeah, Buffalo, and uh, they deliver for Shein in South Africa. And guys, I'm working with Shein, I'm actually collaborating with Shein. I, I, I'm so excited when I first started out on Instagram before I came to YouTube. I did uh, fashion content like I was a fashion influencer and then slowly transitioned uh, into lifestyle content and then a little bit of travel. I don't travel a lot, but I do go to places. So to get something that was my core idea when I started out, it's just a flex for me. Obviously, I can't I can't unbox everything because I have to do like a YouTube video for she in. Uh, but what I am going to do is give you guys my discount code so guys you, so that you can use it for so long. And since you know we're international, it doesn't matter where in the world you are, whether you are in um the US, whether you in the UK, whether you in Kenya, whether you are in was it Ireland? Guys, I got so many responses regarding to where people are watching me from. If you watch my last vlog, I said please let me know where are you watching me from? And the responses were like all over the world. I'm just gonna list them here, guys. It is everywhere like it's everywhere Botswana the UK the US and it shocked me that I have so many not so many but I have a lot of service in the United States of America I knew London but I didn't know America and another one that shocked me was Ireland and China anyway so I was saying it doesn't matter where you are in the world you can use this discount code um, you can use this discount code and the discount code is Gugu I'm gonna write it here just type in GUGU -G -U on the Shein app when you've done shopping on Shein go to the voucher part just type in GUGU -G -U, which is my name Gugu and then you will get 15% uh, of your purchase guys please please use this voucher um i'd really like to continue and collaborate with she in i also want to do like their homeware stuff uh but yeah because they said if this thing goes well we'll have another partnership so ah! i want to show you guys one item that i got from she in ah! <laughs> been wanting these for the longest time oh they're so cute they're so cute let me move let me move Ah, oh, guys, I have a big foot. I wear a size. 
<laughs> I wear a size 41, which is a size 8 in South Africa. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm tall, guys. I am 1.73 meters tall, so I'm quite a tall girly. But yeah, that is the shoes that I wanted to show you. I've always wanted them. But I never really bought them because I felt like, uh -uh, I don't know. But when they said, Should choose anything you want on she and I was like, oh, hey. <laughs> ah, they're so pretty. I love, love them. I really, really love them. They are available in different colors. I just went for gold because I feel like it's so hard to find like a beautiful um, gold shoe. All right. Should I unbox this after cooking? I don't like unboxing things when it's dark. Let me just quickly do it. Let me just turn this thing to on so that you guys can see what is going on. My address. But this was not delivered at my house. Ah, I'm so excited for this. I am so excited for this. Sana, I am ruining the packaging. Can you guys see? I'm ruining the packaging. Let me turn it down a bit. I hope you guys can see, but the packaging was so cute. But yeah, let's open. I know what's in here, but you know, you don't know. <laughs> I'm about to plug you. I'm about to plug you. I'm about to plug you. <laughs> Is it dark from there? But I, I think you guys can see. I'm so excited. I am so. Oh, eh, 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 eh. It's even switching on. So these are battery operated lights. And when I first saw them, I saw them on Komuto's channel. She bought them from Amazon. I remember I even went to her and I asked her to please um, let me bring this back. Let me bring this back. Uh, when I saw them on her channel, I asked her, friend, can you please um, send me the link to where you bought your picture lights? Because I want to use them on the pictures up there on my picture lights. And then she did this flies she did send the um, picture lights the link to me however i did not check out because i think i had to pay around there's a car moving around i think i had to pay around two thousand rands oh it's so easy to i'm not worried about because my husband can sort this I had to pay around 2,000 rand for shipping from Amazon to South Africa. And I was like, this flies, guys. I can't wait for winter. I was like, I can't, I, I couldn't bring myself to check out and pay, I needed to, and pay 2,000 rand for, oh my word. <gasps> and pay 2000 rand for shipping so i never bought them sorry guys i got cut off so this lady undombi hi undombi um the owner of ikaya ikaya means uh ikaya like a home approaches me sends me an email that she uh has a business that that supplies picture lights these words and she's like can i please send you a sample i was like oh my god <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, please send me. Um, so if you are in South Africa and you are worried about shipping costs like me, you don't have to worry about those. You don't have to worry about those anymore because you can buy these locally. I chose the color gold. She has them in different colors. She sent me three of these. Guys, you don't even need, you just need to drill them up. They work with, like you saw, they work with uh, a remote control. Here it is. My husband is going to install on this vlog for us. I'm so excited. Okay, let's cook. Uh, I'm making something very quick.
reaching for your laughter to land on me Lay your trust, your burden Lay your hope on me Take this love that I got mm. If you want it And I've been waiting, waiting, waiting for a reason
guys, my husband has decided to put up the lights tonight. Now I was saying let's do it in the morning. And we won't, have, we won't be able to show them the effect of the lighting. So he's saying that you guys won't be able to see um, how the lights would look when it's dark. So Ukatele, baby, tell them you're tired. <laughs> My love. And tomorrow I, we still need to pack. We mean pekile sana. Di pekile mduam di akshia. So so we got more four. Anyway, um, he's gonna start drilling now and putting up the lights. It's three lights, guys. It's not complicated at all. Maybe maybe you didn't explain it. Explain it. I'm going to do that so easy. So guys, these are. I don't know. It's just stick on. Uh, it's better operated. I think it's charged. You need to charge them. Yeah. yeah. See, and so they're so bright. And there's no need for electric wiring or anything. Just need to drill, hang them up here, and you're done. I'm so excited. Picture as light. Let me just illustrate. Nanzo? Nanzo? So I'll just drill. Two holes here and hang it. See, then you just clip it on. I couldn't hear him helping, and he said there's nothing else that they can do for me. I mean, I, the only thing I can do is just continue taking the treat, do the treatment. I don't even say it to the next person I'm feeling because it's my everyday pain. You know, I, I feel that. The moment I wake up every morning, it's the first thing that uh, I feel like, you know, just stretching. Oh! You can feel that it's tight. It's like somebody was, um, you know the tightness, I don't even know how to explain it, but uh, oh. the tightness is there, obviously when I open wow. it, pain starts. Hey guys, so my husband is done. I'm doing the dishes. I feel like it's making noise. Let me just pause it. I just want to pause it. Oh, I don't know if this is if this lens is too bright or not. But um Habi just finished um putting on the lights and they look amazing. Um let me just move back a bit. Really, really look nice. Uh, let me switch them on. Um, let me switch off the lights so that you guys can see the brightness. I'm switching them on and off with this remote that I showed you earlier. Oh, it's dark, dark. Let me switch them on. So let's say it's load shading. We don't have any lights. Oh, they're quite bright. They are quite bright. There we go. And then you can change them if you want them warm. Oh wow. That's the brightest. You can dim oh. I'm just changing. Oh, you can't even see. Okay guys, so I'm done showing you guys the lights. I'm gonna go to bed now. I'll close off this vlog um, tomorrow. I'm exhausted. So, good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Dramatic exit. I just switched off the lights. Bye guys. Uh, is my mic connected. Let's all this check. Hey guys. drowning myself in cuticle well I wanted to say cuticle oil in my favorite um, setting spray why is it dirty this is my setting spray popular back in the day um, KM plucked us on this and I've been using it ever since guys um, I have it's not really unboxings but I have armor boxes here uh, there's something I want to show you I made a big mistake last week like I made a big mistake I'm gonna share now. 
I made a big mistake. This, this is a Type C adapter. This is for my live videos for membership perks. So when I say I made a big a big mistake, we were supposed to go live last week. I think it was the twenty first. Yes, the twenty first of February. We were supposed to have a live on the 21st of February and we didn't have it because I was going through the most. I just wanted to apologize for not being available on the 21st. I'm so, so, so sorry. <gasps> Son of these flies are wild. Oh. But yeah, our next, oh my God. Our next life is going to be so crisp, guys. It's going to be so clear. I promise I bought this. I'll explain on the live what this does and how it works. Guys, and when I was editing, like I was editing the vlog where um, I was meeting uh, my friends like Maneo, we did something. You guys saw that most at the beginning of, uh, at the beginning of the vlog. Guys, I can't wait to be a mom. Like... I can't wait to be a mother and that's one part of my life that I don't talk about a lot because when I speak about like my plans of becoming a mom it's either and not on the internet I'm just referring to people who are in my life people that I see no one on the internet has ever done anything to me Shem, I don't want to lie but it's either if I share like with a friend or a family member about my plans of having a child, they would either one, discourage me or put me down. I don't know how to explain it, but they would either discourage me or they would feel like I think I'm better. Like I speak like, oh, you think this one, she thinks she's better. She thinks she's special or they would feel like I am putting them down, like I'm looking down. Let's say if I'm speaking about, okay, let's say I'm speaking about uh, me, like I would say to people, I never want to have a child out of wedlock. Like I've said this from a very, very young age. I've had this vision, I have this, I had these plans in my head from the young age of 16, 17, 18. And I said to myself, I don't want a child out of wedlock like I don't want a child out of wedlock like I want to get married and have my kids in my head I thought I was gonna be married at the age of 25 I thought I was gonna meet my husband <laughs> when I was doing my first year and then we studied together and then we graduate and then we get married um, I'll be 25 I'll be young then maybe I'll start having kids at the age of 28 29 or 30 then me and my husband would travel but life as you know it things did not work out the way I wanted at the end of at the age of 25 I was struggling like I was so deep in debt I just started working I finished school when I was 21 um, I got my degree when I was 21 21 22 and then it took me almost four years to get a permanent job like I was 20, yeah from the period where I finished varsity to a period where I got my first permanent job at the Department of Agriculture those years were the most difficult years in my life because I felt like oh my god I studied I have this degree but I have nothing I'm broke I'm like I'm not getting a job I'm not getting a guys let me get a doom guys oh my word so as I was saying at the age of 25 guys my life was nothing like what I had planned it to be like it was so my peers at the age of 25 some of them started having kids some of them started getting married some of them started buying cars like their lives were looking around not looking around but um, their lives were progressing and mine was <laughs> at least I had a job I got a job anyway so I told myself number one 
before I even turn 25 at the age of 16, I am not having a child out of wedlock. I don't care what you say to me. I don't care what you promise me. I'm not going to make that mistake. So when I would share that with people and say, I'm, I'm not going to fall pregnant out of wedlock, they would look down on me like, ah, but look around it. In this day and age, nobody cares. Everyone falls pregnant at any age they want. There are kids at 16, 17 who have kids. So 25 without wedlock it's not so bad i'm like it's not about the next person which what is the next person doing it's the life that i want for myself i don't want to be a baby mama and let's say i'm speaking to a person who already has a child she's my friend but she has a child when i say i don't want to be a baby mama that's not the life i want for myself they would feel attacked as if you know she's looking down on me i'm 25 and i'm a baby mama so you understand so i learned to keep quiet or um, I would speak to other people who also don't have kids. I'm like, oh, I want to get married. And mind you guys, when I'm, I'm when I'm speaking these things and when I'm dreaming about this life, I don't have my husband, number one. Number two, I don't even know I'm going to get married. There's no guarantee that you're going to get married because life doesn't come with guarantees, right? But I believed in it and I pushed for that narrative. with my, I want to get married. I want to have a husband. I don't want to be a baby mama. And once I get married, I don't want to fall pregnant immediately. I want to take my time, like take a year or two or even three, depending what, on what my husband wants, on what we want. And then we start having children. Like I wanted to enjoy my marriage and let it be me and my husband before we start having kids. Because I know once we start having kids, you can't take them back. Like it's forever. And I have a lifetime with this man, right? Like I wanted to have like a planned child in a house with a stable income. And guys, when I said these things, I looked crazy. Like that's why I, I don't even talk about it. Even on this channel, I've never spoken about being a mom and what I think and my views because I feel like a lot of people feel attacked as well as I am sharing my dreams, I am sharing my vision and how I see my life and not anyone else's. I'm not saying this person, if you have a child out of wedlock, you're doing something wrong. I'm not saying you're doing something right, but I'm saying a vision that I want for my life. But my message to young girls, sit down, take, take um, in daughter, take the man out of the picture. Take your husband as much as i'm considering my husband now but if you're a young girl you're 16 17 20 30 take your husband out of the picture structure your life the way you want it what kind of life do you want and i know that the type of life that you want might not might seem far-fetched my life seemed far-fetched too swear to god everything that i have now seemed far-fetched i look crazy to a whole lot of people until my wishes and my vision actually happened so it's crazy you might look then pray about it believe it speak it into existed existence and practice it right so you decide let's say you don't have a child and you want to just have your child in marriage pray about it speak about it when you start dating put it there I, I don't want to play. I want to get married. I want to have children. And I know, Gucci, a lot of people used to say to me, um, but if your marriage doesn't last, then it didn't last. It didn't last. Sorry, guys, my memory card was full. What I was saying is that um, let's say we get me and my husband, God forbid, God forbid, me and my husband get divorced. We already have um, children and we go our separate ways. I was saying it's fine. Because a lot of people would say that, yeah, but that doesn't guarantee that your marriage would last. Yes, it doesn't guarantee that. But at the end of the day, I would know that I pushed a vision. Um, I pushed principles that I wanted to live by and actually lived by those principles. How the marriage lasts, if it's not supposed to last, it's out of my control. But the person will say, my ex-wife. I'm going to collect my kids. I'm going to get my kids at my ex-wife's house. It will never be, I'm going to get my kids at my baby mama's house. You understand? Um, I would have tried to give my family that family structure that I wanted. And um, to young girls, to young children, like young girls who, who are watching this, um, 
whether you have a child or not it doesn't matter but the biggest advice that i can give you is be proactive with your life don't wait for something to happen to you then you react to it don't wait to fall pregnant out of marriage then you start reacting with okay now i'm pregnant what am i gonna do do you understand um be proactive like plan for things think ahead don't gamble with your life don't play with your life don't take risks with your life whatever you do be proactive like that's the best advice i can give young girls be proactive be proactive in your career be proactive in your love life be proactive with your vision with everything that you do be proactive don't be reactive like don't react with you let me risk it then i'll say tomorrow yolo you live once there are things that you can yolo about but you can't yolo about raising a child alone or risking raising a child alone that's if that's if you don't want to because there are people who don't mind who say i actually want to be a single mom i don't want a husband i just want to have kids if that's for you it's perfectly perfectly fine but if you want a family structure be proactive like plan ahead so yeah this is a very sensitive issue and it's not easy to talk about and i feel like it's triggering to so many people but being at my nails um oh, it was so beautiful but celebrating her pregnancy just made me realize how much I'm excited to be a mom and it made me look back at that 16 year old little girl who wrote down our visions who wrote down our principles and said hey we're not having a child out of wedlock even though throughout the years as she grew up to be this person that you're looking at now that little girl was laughed at with ah who waits for marriage ah how do you know you're gonna get married ah you think you're better because you now you have a person now it's easy for you to speak about these things ah what 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 it's so hard to open up and actually let people in when people are gonna impose their own um like when people are gonna motivate you like wh why are you waiting for marriage just fall pregnant um why are you, you married now fall pregnant now why do you want to wait a year i'm like guys i want to enjoy my marriage i want to enjoy my husband i didn't marry my husband just to fall pregnant i married him because i love him so i want to enjoy the love and when the kids are here and we can say you know me and your dad before we had you guys our marriage was like this this me and your dad used to do this like it, that's the life that i wanted for myself and to actually see that i am 90 percent there the last percentage is to just give birth like, but what i wanted to say is that i am so proud of my 16 year old self like if i could go back to her i would like i'd go back to her and say we did it like we, we did it we are 90 percent there you have a good business going you married like now i'm talking to my 16 year old self you have a good business going you married your husband loves you to death you stay in a beautiful house and soon soon your kids are coming like you did it you nailed it and i would tell her i'm so proud of you for not listening to everyone who was laughing at you throughout the years those who are gossiping behind you oh my god is she having kids oh my god why is she waiting, waiting for marriage someone even said to me um because i was with my husband before we got married that i'm not falling pregnant with his kids because i don't love him and i'm planning on leaving him i'm just waiting for some someone better I'm like we're literally saving money for our marriage our wedding there's no such i love this man with all my heart but yeah people will whisper in my would whisper in my ears and then they would go and whisper in his ears and i'm so glad that we knew where we're going and what we wanted and i'm so happy that he never turned on me he said i'll marry you and he did that and he's been faithful and i pray that he stays that way I'm sure he's gonna make a great dad. I picked the best man for my kids and I hope that I make the best mom too. Guys, my husband is done with his meeting. 
I was waiting for him to finish. I'm gonna close off this vlog here. I love you guys so much. Um, please, if you enjoyed this video, please like it. It helps a lot. Leave me a heart if you watch the video till the end and make sure that you are subscribed and i'll see you guys on my next vlog i love you guys so much thank you for being part of my family thank you for being part of my life i appreciate you see you next week bye